Okay, turn three, mm -hmm. orders. I'm gonna pick this one. I'm gonna pick this one. So it's interesting, my speed bikes have gone pretty far across the board. And yeah. now, Darth Vader is the master of evil. Ooh. So hopefully we've got some overlays for these cards, but if we haven't, this is what this one looks like. Um, when he's issued an order, he gains a dodge token. Mm -hmm. And uh, when he activates each enemy trooper at range, he gains three suppression tokens. So in fact, Ooh. this guy's gonna get suppressed. Well, Luke is a trooper as well. Oh, of course, so Luke's already got a suppression token from when I melee attacked him last time. Yeah, which I forgot to put down at the time, but... This is a nice little battle here. So you got your dodge token. Boop. Bam. You got your cool Master of Evil artwork. Um, so when you activate Vader, Luke and this guy are going to get scared. Yes. What did you pick? I picked my ally is the Force. What does that do, Ben? Um, pick two troopers to order, and then when a friendly trooper is issued an order, it gains a dodge token. Okay. So I'm going to pick myself. Ah. And this boy. Okay. And then they'll both get dodge tokens. So you get to go first. Um, but my, I get to put tokens on all of my guys, pretty much apart from the speeder bikes. Who uh, I can then speeder pick. bikes will be in range. Uh, those take. guys are not in range. Oh no, the, 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 the orders I put was... Oh, I see, I see, it's only, it's only in range. Well, it's uh, only these guys who get the tokens in. The other ones, and then, it's no, random. I think, I think they're in range, it's range three. Oh, I get to put it on the speeder Yeah, yeah, you can do it on the speeder bikes. They've come okay. around fast enough now. I didn't realise. And that means that... So now your random token... My random token is always going to be these rocket boys. Yes. Okay. So the three orders is, is really good. It is pretty um, useful because it's kind of the opposite of the one order, but just as effective if you want to single yeah. out a specific person to activate first. So I get to basically pick any unit to go first, or in any order, which is quite nice. No randomization but for me this round. My allies the Force is a higher priority than Master of Evil. So you get to go first. So I get to take the first action. What and, would you um, like to do? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do Luke. I'm going to try and fight back. Okay. Vader, go for you. it. Um, Does that instantly clear a suppression or something like this? Or do you get to, uh, you get to roll to see if you lose your suppression? Oh, yep, yeah, good point. So let's see what that is. I do not. You do not. But Luke is bravery three. So right. it takes three tokens to suppress him. Okay. He ain't, he ain't afraid okay. of any ghosts. Um, so he's not even going to start losing actions until... And then I guess you want to aim attack. Straight in. Yeah. Yeah, aim attack. Why not? Oh, no, you know what? I'm going to rest for one action. Okay. And ready my Jedi mind trick. Okay. And get rid of that suppression token. I'm okay. gonna like do a bit of battle meditation. So resting loses you a suppression token. Yes. Or maybe more than one. Can't okay. Remember. But he only had one, so it doesn't matter. And and refreshes all of your ta exhausted cards. Okay. Um, and then my second act. Oh, then I'll do a free action. Jedi mind trick. Put two more suppression on these stormtroopers. Oh my god. You want to leave the battle? They do, but they can't while Darth's still nearby. <laughs> no, exactly. But I'm hoping maybe I can, like, Darth will wander off and then they'll get scared. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not moving Darth Vader. He's, he's staying <laughs> yeah. right where he is. Um, and then I'm going to swing. I'm going to chop some wood. Bzzzt. And has Luke got a surge? He has got a surge. That's two hits. Yeah. And a third hit. And then he gets to re-roll two of them. I didn't aim. I did the mind trick oh, instead of the, the mind trick. So, so the mind trick to, to weaken these guys. So why are you putting these tokens on if they're not going to run away? <laughs> well, they'll be suppressed. Sorry, I sneezed. Oh, well, well, they're suppressed anyway, aren't they? I know, but one token you've got a fair chance of like rallying from oh, when you I activate see. them. But you'll never rally three tokens. Okay, good strategy. Just just wondering, that's all. Yeah, so, that's all right. all good. Um, and that's me done. So oh, no, well, first, sorry. You need sorry, to, I need to roll a defense. You need to make three, three saves, yeah. Let's do it. Uh, oh, look at that! What is going on? <laughs> Vader is just... He's, he's so, all, he's so all tough! He's so scary! Yeah. Alright, my go. Your go, yeah. Alright, so, for my go, I'm going to take the random token and activate Rocket Boys before oh, they get blown up. Oh, shit. Um, which means I'm going to need to roll my... Oh no, but I can't! The you haven't reloaded your rocket. I haven't reloaded, so I'm, I, in fact, rather than aiming, I'm going to have to rest to yeah. reload my rocket mm -hmm. and then shoot it again. Exactly. Um, which means it's, it's, again, I'm missing out on that delicious that, aim token. It's tough to get the aim off with the rocket. But I wouldn't even be able to fire it. If, imagine I'd been if suppressed. If you were suppressed, yeah, you've got to keep your heads down. So, you know, I, this is why getting those rockets out quickly is, is, is necessary. Yeah, because it's a good thing you did them first. If you hadn't, I'd have thought about, like, stomping them up. Okay? Okay. Boom. Rocket boy! That is three hits. Oof. I will take those all into crits. Yeah, you've got impact three, haven't you, on the rocket? And so they... So that's it, they can hurt me. Only crits can hurt the you. Um, um, and this is going to blow something off, hopefully, if you don't roll two geez, defense yeah, dice. Yeah, can have some white... You need white to roll dice. three white dice. Come on, Walker. Nothing. Oh! That is a bit of a disaster. So you don't even blow anything off. You legit kill it. It's already taken... It's already on three. It's already on three <gasps> out of six. You land another three and blammo. Oh my god. Take that, that guy off. That launcher is MVP. 
setting the rocket launcher up on this side of the battlefield early. Yeah, well this is why I was so keen to keep it suppressed. Well I felt like I had to be... I did, maybe, I don't know, I'm pleased. I'm pleased that I rolled well finally and mm. the walker is off. Wow, I thought that was going to be a real difficulty to kill. And the speeder bike's also important because if you'd done, they did one to it last turn. Mm. So how annoying would that have been if you'd hit it with two rockets and it had one hit point left and then carried on killing you? Exactly, just yeah, that little, one hit point. That Trying to plink that armor off with a crit would have been pretty difficult for anything else on the field, really. Mm. Oh, I'm pleased about that. Okay, well it's right. your go, Ben. Okay, so these, You're looking a bit, done. looking a bit sad now. The big old walker. Yeah, down. I thought the walker would would be able to take one more rocket. In all honesty, um, but it it couldn't. Um, oh my god, it's looking a bit pathetic now, isn't it? Um, what have you got? I mean, Luke's already swung, and Darth has still not Darth had a damage done on him. anything yet. Well, I'm going to do this this sad boy here. <laughs> sad man, <laughs> sad man. Um, he's going to aim and shoot. And sell his life as dearly as possible. Oh no, maybe not, maybe not. Here we go. He's gonna rush to the aid of Luke Skywalker. Okay. He's gonna run in. I'll save you, sir. I'll save you, I'll save you. One, and then two. Ah! What is he doing? What is this madness? So is he charging into melee combat? Yes, but he's too far, he doesn't actually get to attack. Because okay. he, he had to spend both his actions running in. This is useful for us to learn how multiple melee targets work. <laughs> yeah. So I might go, I'll activate Darth Vader. Yeah. And how does it, do I decide who I'm going to attack basically out of Yeah, you, you can hit one or the other. Does it's being two in combat units. with anyone else give you anything? Or like adjacency bonuses or anything? No, like nothing support? like that really. It's just um, because each one makes a separate attack, in theory I could like give you multiple suppression tokens. I see. That if would be the only advantage. If you can hit. So yeah. do you only get a suppression token if you hit with Yeah, if you force them to roll defense dice, okay. regardless of whether they make all their saves or not, then you they give them a suppression token as well. Let's roll some dice uh, well, to hit do, Luke. Can you do oh. any force powers? No, well, okay, no, I'll, I'll, I'll aim. I'll aim my melee, mm -hmm. I think. Or maybe, oh god, I can free action force choke your dude. No! You fool, Ben. You forgot about the force choke. You knew about this, didn't you? you I just live... wanted the force choke to go off and I thought this one man's going to die anyway. Uh, Maybe okay. he can go out in style. So I should have readied this at the end of last turn. Yes, that's true. He's got, got his push so He has got his push back. So I could have maybe pulled him in and choked him. Oh, you could him, have pulled actually. him in and choked him, yeah. Because they're both free actions. Yeah. You didn't even have to run him into his death, Ben. <laughs> I, should have, I should have figured that one out. So that's one wound. Does he get a defense dice against No, him? I mean, it's an instant one wound. Oh ah. my God. So he's like, coming into the Luke on Darth action yeah. a bit too they, late. These guys are dueling and this one guy goes, maybe I can run in and distract Darth and get Luke that kill kill shot. Yeah. And, and Darth Vader, while he's dueling, he's just like, he's like, <laughs> get out of here. He <laughs> like, doesn't even break And then he turns his focus back to flipping Luke. Wow, this is oh, it's pretty epic. Brutal. So we're gonna, we're gonna aim an attack. Mm -hmm. Bam. Three, three, hits. three hits. Oh my god, this is this is what we need. Finally, everyone, we're rolling. Oh man, well that surge doesn't hit, so you can use your aim token I'll to reroll that. I'll use my aim token to reroll that. <laughs> oh, and it's a crit. Six hits. Six hits. My word. But the crits okay. don't matter because you don't have cover. Uh, right, so first up, I'm going to use my defense token. Okay. Um, so one of those hits, his battle meditation helped him deflect. So it's only five hits. Five hits. So you only um, roll five dice. Five dice, here we go. Ooh, that's, oh, that's none. No, the, yeah, he's got no defensive surge. That's three wounds so straight three away. three wounds. Oh my god, and two more. How many has he got? Three, four, five. He's already taken two wounds. He's just taken three more on top of that. So if I fail one of these, he's dead. He's dead. So here we go. Good luck. Um, oh, oh no, that's these, not one. These are so misleading. I keep thinking I've, I've, I've made saves, but I haven't made it's saves. It's like you think it's a critical save, but actually it's a. It's like a. If you're really good at this, it's a save. It's but... like Luke's gone to block, but Darth was like fainting. Oh, and yeah. And it cut straight through his hand and he fell off Cloud City. Shit. So he's taken exactly enough damage to wound. Even with his dodge token, so, wasn't enough oh to save God, him. Oh my God, so the, the stormtroopers with the rocket Ooh. did exactly enough damage to kill you, and then Darth Vader did exactly enough damage to kill Luke. Well, this is looking a bit bleak. This ben. is looking super bleak. Do I you... can take petty vengeance. On the Rocket Boys. <laughs> well, who have you got left? Uh, the, the guys that unit's been choked to death. <laughs> yeah. Luke's dead. Yeah. The, the, the thing, this is just a big explosion of, of fire yeah. here where the walker got blown up. I haven't even... We should get, get one of those fireball tokens. I love that. With oh, yeah, like a little crater has. with some smoke and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I've got a bag of like um, special coloured cotton wool that's like white and grey and red that looks really and good. And you should that. be able to crash into the burning wreck and stuff. Yeah. Oh, brutal. Well, you, get, you do get yeah. a go. I do get a go. So I've only got one token left. It's these guys. Um, oh my gosh. They're going to aim and shoot. 
And I'm just going to try and kill something before this game is over. That rocket boy, he's done his job, but... He's going to pay the price. He's, he's stuck out in the open with an unloaded rocket launcher. Um, that's, so, that's one hit. Okay. And I've got... I need one more black dice. Do you not... Does the burst nope. not convert? No, not for rebel troopers. Oh dear. Uh, they have defensive surges, not offensive. Uh, so that's one hit. I'll use my aim token to re-roll two of those. That's another hit. Okay, so that's two hits, and then I've got the big Gatling gun. Which fires six. Six white dice. We really need to get some more of these we dice. Do. It's they really don't annoying. give you enough in the start. It's set. really, it really bugs me actually. It's, Fantasy Flight make excellent games and excellent models, but all of their starter sets don't come with enough dice. No. And you have to go buy the dice pack, and I hate it. Well, <laughs> hate it. You can buy them on the Yotscast store. <laughs> yeah, actually, can. I don't think you can. You can probably buy the starter set, but you can't buy the dice packs. You can buy the those dice packs. from your local game store, support that. Or, I guess if you and your friend both buy a starter set, and then you trade, and you go, you have my Imperials, oh, I'll have, have your Rebels. Oh, because then you'll have like 12, you'll have like 24 Stormtroopers there, and that's a yeah, lot. Yeah, and then you'll have double the dice, and I don't know. Maybe anyway, that's the way to do it. This starter set's pretty nice, like Benji was showing me earlier how the arms just sort of pop. Oh, do you want to finish killing? Oh, yeah, yeah, and so then the we'll, second, we'll... second volley, two hits. So okay. I've scored four hits in total on that Stormtrooper unit. Right, and we get some white your, defense your dice. Red, red, red defense, defense dice. dice. Really, red defense dice? They're wearing armor, they're physically wearing armor. Oh, that's... that's and then one more. That's, oh, that's two that's, deaths. Two deaths. Oh, so pay it. Oh, the leader lives. So the rocket boy <laughs> and this guy's dead, but heroic leader just weathers the incoming fire, dinking it off of his armor. Oh, man. It could, didn't even get the, the petty revenge kill. Well, I've still got all four units standing. Somehow those speeder bikes were actually really impactful. Just, just soaking up a bit of fire, darting around. Yeah. The, the cover one. I wasted a lot of shooting on those. Man. So no, these are nice models. Um, you can check out the starter set. I hope this mm. served as an, a good introduction to the game. We are trying out some new filming. <laughs> yeah, we're trying to get a bit more in, in game shots. Unfortunately, we only have my phone. Turned out that was better right than our little camcorders. <laughs> um, well, we, we, were, we had a couple of camcorders. They didn't have a battery with them because we normally have them plugged in. And then we had a big DSLR that we tried to record with, mm. but it wouldn't autofocus on these models. So I was like, I'm just gonna use my. You know what does autofocus? <laughs> my fucking phone. <laughs> yeah. uh, so right, well let me stop that recording. Oh, that was our that was, game. That was a drumming. Our intro game of Star Wars Legion. Hopefully, you got mm. a bit of an understanding of it. Thank you for 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 for, for playing, Ben. No, thanks for playing. I I spent like the last two weeks painting all these models up, and this is like um, my first proper game of it. Did we miss any little rules or little things? Um, that, probably. That I'm sure someone in the know. comments will tell me that I messed something up. Okay. Um, well, but, yeah, do let us know. I mean, part comments. of it is you've got this sort of the way you build your forces is you have, you know, you've got the Rebel Trooper unit here. That's their card, and then they have these icons to say what you can give them. So I've given them this Gatling gun. But they could, for example, have, um, you could give them targeting scopes upgrade or special grenades. I see. Or um, like an, a, an ion mortar and stuff like that. Like there's loads of different upgrades you can give your units to like well, there are really kit them up a big for other stuff. Of them, aren't they, yeah. Okay. Um, so, so there's a fair bit of customization you can do. Yeah. And you can surprise your opponent. Well, you can't actually because I can see what you've got at the start. Yeah. But yeah, it's. it's but you can like make, make your force your own. So, what about new stuff coming out for it? Is there um, like. So, everything in the starter set is available as separate packs. So, if you just wanted more speeder bikes, you can get more speeder bikes, for example. Okay. Um, there is also the ATST Walker, the big chicken walker. Mm -hmm. It's about this big, it's a really cool model. It's covered in guns, very cool. Uh, the Rebels have got the, um, the snow speeder from Hoth. Yeah, that zips around and ties up their legs. That is a classic. It's a classic. A classic model. Um, and they have bonus against. The walkers. Yeah, it's quite good against the walkers, okay. actually, which is nice. And it flies a bit like the speeder bikes in that it has to keep moving. I was a little bit worried about them, actually, a couple I, of times. I was going to put money on you crashing them at well, some point. Well, because I, you I, I, when, it, when it was this point, I realised that, oh, shit, I have to go forward. <laughs> so yeah. I need to make sure they're not going to just whack into the side. <laughs> yeah. um, but I managed to get them, you luckily, thread the needle. right around that, that little <laughs> yeah. bit. But that, the 90-degree turn is, is quite a sharp turn for a speeder bike to make, honestly. Yeah, I mean, I guess, you know, you can abstract that into they did it in a, in a bend. They didn't yeah. literally just go straight, then hairpin, and then straight. Well, I mean, the danger I also had was that, like, mm. the, if your walker had sort of walked down here a bit, mm. I would have kind of had trouble getting, if, if we hadn't done things in the same order, if he hadn't moved, I would yeah. have either bumped him, which I don't know what that does. Um, you die. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, if the speed bad, effects bad bump then. anything other than an infantryman, they, okay, they die. Okay, well, that would have been a bad thing. And what, it doesn't mm. even do any damage to no. anything? Oh, dear. 
Well, that, that, they, that, but moving them is nice because it means you've got both actions to aim and fire. You don't ha- once they've moved, you don't have to yeah. move them again. But if you or want, or you to, can evade and fire. Which you is can quite nice. zoom forward because you can stack your evade with your cover bonus. Oh right, and then they become really hard to kill. Um, so they're pretty nice. But the problem they have is they can't really focus their fire. I kept moving the walker in. Because my thinking was, once I get past a certain point, you won't be able to shoot the speeder bikes at them. No. Because your turning circle isn't good enough. You basically have to start on and shoot these guys, and then zip over here and then shoot these guys. Um, you have to kind of spread your fire out with them. So, I mean, as the game goes on longer and longer, is, how does it end, Ben? Like, so, if we um, hadn't ended it? So, uh, normally, you'd, you'd play double this points value, and you'd have, like, eight to ten units on the board. Okay. That's like a proper game. And you use these, like, scenario cards to determine what your objectives are. You might have like control points on the map, you might have to get into your enemy's deployment zone, um, you might have like these tokens that you can pick up and move. Okay. Um, there's lots of different scenarios, um, and there's battlefield effects. You can have like low visibility or like hostile environment, which okay. can give you more things to worry about. I see, so it's just adding more complexity. Hmm. I mean, we, we still had four cars left at the end. Yeah, so- you meant to play six turns, but obviously with a small force, Three turns is sort of enough to see where. But I can see, I can see headed. that game. You know, your your Walker having gone further down there. My my guys have been stuck down this end, having to laboriously try and turn around mm. because they didn't plan them. But I just sort of zoomed them. They were so out of control. <laughs> yeah. Even though this isn't that long, it's like it felt it's like they were quite just limited. Rushing around. I mean, what you can do with them is you can do their forced move like that. Yeah. And then you can spend an action to pivot 90 degrees on the spot. Okay. And then you could spend another action to pivot 90 degrees on the spot. So if you didn't want to shoot or do anything else, you could literally zip and then hairpin round. Okay. So that's actually not too bad. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, well, I think that's enough for yeah. now. And there's, there's other characters coming out. You know, you've got Luke, Leia, Han. Um, there's General Veers. Don't know if you remember him. Yeah. He's coming out soon. So I'm looking forward to seeing what, what happens as more units come out. Um, this is, um, I, I suppose what we'll see is when, we, when you go to your Star Wars Armada and X-Wing events, you'll see people playing this. Mm. At the event, as it as it sort of progresses forward, because it's quite a nice little alternative to other miniatures games. And the miniatures look quite nice, don't they? Yeah. Well, who doesn't want like to have a little stormtrooper running around? Exactly. That's well, that's the only reason I bought it. <laughs> well, there you go. The, the start set is all available on the Oscar store. Check it out if you want. Uh, or support your local game shop. Yeah. Or just and, watch us um, play. Yeah, and uh, as I was mentioning earlier, these guys, like, they do come apart and glue together pretty yeah, easy. Yeah, that's the other thing. I think they've aimed this at people who've never played war games before. Yeah. Because you don't need a tape measure. The dice are super straightforward. They don't come 50 little bits. No, it's literally, it's this like... Stormtrooper comes in two pieces, and I haven't even glued. Oh, no, that one I did glue. <laughs> this guy didn't glue. Blam. So there you go. Body, got... You glue body on base, and then you put arms in body. And they actually don't even need it. glue, pretty much, apart from the base. And yeah. you, I mean, you did. You probably spent longer on the base than you did on the bloody painting, <laughs> didn't you? Yeah. On these? No, those bases are super quick. Just dry brush. Three, well, three colours of dry brush. And there you go. That was that was that. You can watch our other stuff to learn other stuff, or not to learn anything. You can just enjoy us goof about. Yeah. So yeah, I'd like to. I'd like to do um, more of this. I think when we when we've got a decent amount of miniatures out, we can. We'll probably put together a little tournament um, in house, and maybe we'll record it. Maybe we won't. See you next time. Yeah. Leave, leave a comment and like if you want to see more. Yeah. And why if not? we get lots of likes, maybe we'll do more. Goodbye. Bye. Hello. If you enjoyed our games on Games Night, you can actually pick them up on the Yorkcast store. There's all the games we played, Camel Up, Bang, a bunch of DD stuff. So go ahead, take a look, maybe buy some Yorkcast t-shirts while you're at it. Thanks for the support. Cheers guys.